friends and welcome back. It's the triple night. Triple. Uh, <laughs> it's Wednesday, December 14th, 2022. I'm the drunk pole guru. Tis beer advent day 14 time. Two weeks in. Bye, Mon Beer Mon Con. Uh, how you doing? You having a good one? You chilling out? I'm watching The Year Without Santa Claus. One of them Rankin Bass ones. You know where Santa needs to take a holiday? I think this is, isn't this the one with Snowmeister and Heatmeister in it? Yeah, it is. I'm Mr. Snowmeister. I'm Mr. Snow. I don't know. Mr. White? I don't know. I know Heat Miser one better. Anyways, let's get into it. Mr. Snow. Man, what do you have for us on this auspicious second week finishing of the Beer Advent calendar? Hello. All right, I can't read that. Skull Crusher from the Merchant Ale House. 10.5% bourbon barrel aged brown ale. Excuse me? A baking powder? I believe this one comes to us from our good pal over on Twitter there, Donnie Redmond. Uh, Donnie lives out St. Catherine's Way. He writes for the local paper there. Well, internet paper. Is that a paper anymore? Do you still call it a paper? Anyways, Donnie's a good guy. Good beer guy. Good beer guy, Donnie. So thank you, Donnie. I just must have been in the the, the, cat, in the uh, cellar. And Mrs. Polk was kind enough to pick it. Bourbon barrel-aged brown ale, eh? Okay. Hey, listen. <laughs> you bourbon barrel agent, I'll drink it. That's how this works. I mean, brown ale is just a dark beer, so... Why not, right? It'll be thinner in body, I guess, than a porter or stout, which might make it a crushable 10.5%. Skull Crusher! Merry Christmas! <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. Thank you, Donnie. Much appreciated. Much obliged. I rather like that. Chocolatey again. Like chocolatey nutty. Um, you're getting a nice vanilla run right through this. Wow. Oaky. Warming bourbon on the back. Like, the bourbon's pretty boozy, but it feels like it's it's become more balanced. I'm assuming this is in the last year or so, if not 2022, then 2021. Um, I don't, I don't know if the date's on it. I don't know when it came out. I got a memory like an elephant. I think about peanuts a lot. That's it. That's that's what's going on. Peanuts or beer? No, I do like peanuts though. That's nice. It's diff It's different too, right? It's different, but it's still bourbon. <laughs> so last night you get into the uh, the Belgian beers and a nice glass of uh, Canadian one hundred percent rye whiskey. Whew. Somebody be bur barrel agent a quadrupel, and then we'll quadruple quadrupel, and then we'll be talking. But for a bourbon barrel aged brown ale, this is fairly smooth. Full-bodied and definitely delivering on all the flavor notes. I dig it. Yeah, that's very nice. It's it's an excellent. This one I love. Didn't even know I had it. Brought it home and Diane gave it to me. I'm like, oh, this is a cellar beer, and it goes in the cellar, and then it just magically appears in the middle of December to bring joy to my heart. Well, I could probably use that. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great time. Christmas is creeping up. It is not far away. I hope you got all the things done that you got to get done or you can get them done this weekend. For now, my thing is to drink this beer and enjoy a little bit of Christmas specials. Cheers, my friends. Thank you, Donnie, once again. Appreciate it, my friend. Cheers. That's a, that's a pleasant, pleasant feeling. Ah, 